now we will have some discussion on wireless networks. The networks may be of two types, wired networks, in, in wired network what we do basically to connect the computers we use various kinds of cables, maybe CAT5 cables, sometimes coaxial cables, sometimes fiber optic cables are used to connect the computers. While in many cases uh, we use the wireless media, no cables are used to connect the computer but instead we use what wireless media to connect two devices to form a wireless network. So the network that uses wireless signal instead of wired connection for communication are known as wireless uh, network. So key types are Wi-Fi. One uh, network is that which, which Wi-Fi technology that uses Wi-Fi technology. Wireless fidelity. It is used for wireless internet access in homes, office or public places. So I mean to say if you want to set up a local area network Wi-Fi, wireless local area network uh, using Wi-Fi technology you can uh, connect various computers that are placed in a uh, building or in a in a room in a big room they can be connected with uh, each other uh, to form a wireless LAN using this Wi-Fi technology. Uh, another technology is there uh, which I have already discussed with you is Bluetooth technology and Bluetooth technology is used for setting up a uh, personal area network that where the devices are kept within the periphery of uh, 1 to 10 meters, not beyond 10 meters basically. So for short range communication between personal devices, uh, we use Bluetooth signals or Bluetooth technology. Another very good example of wireless network is the cellular network for mobile and internet communication. Uh, for voice communication uh, which is being used for our mobile devices. So the mobile devices are using the signal uh, of the radio waves signals basically in the radio which comes uh, where frequency lies in the radio waves range. So that signal is being used for communicating uh, or for connecting devices with each other, cellular devices at each other. And another example of uh, Wi-Fi network is satellite networks. So for remote or rural internet access, we do have satellite placed at a height of, uh, at a certain height above the equator and uh, all the devices are connected through this uh, satellite communication and they, be, they use the microwave signals basically uh, around 1.4 gigahertz or 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, the frequency uh, range uh, in that range basically they allow to communicate <coughs> the signals in the line of sight communication basically there must be no obstacle between the obstacle and the device which is being uh, which is communicating with each other so they are known as satellite networks and what are the possible applications of wireless network uh, mobile internet public wi-fi bluetooth devices and uh, satellite internet. You see here uh, in this diagram I have uh, shown you the electromagnetic spectrum basically. So from this side if you can see uh, these are the frequency ranges you know, increases. So here we do have signals of the low frequency range uh, 100 hertz 10 to the power 4 hertz 10 to the power 6 hertz 10 to the power 8 hertz and like that. So if you can see here in the electro electromagnetic spectrum, here is the signals which are having the frequency range in this, they are known as visible light. So our visible light which we can see the range of the signal is between this thing 10 to alone 10 to the power 14 to 10 to the power uh, 15 and like that. Left hand side you can see here uh, from 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 6, they are known as radio waves the signals basically whose frequency lies within these range they are known as radio waves and these radio waves are used in the cellular network and for communicating from one place to another place uh, in hilly areas or any other uh, place you can use this uh, uh, radio waves for data communication. The signals whose uh, frequency lies between 10 to the power 8 to 10 here you can see this one I am talking about uh, they are known as microwave signals. So microwave signals are basically used for line of the sight communication. Line of the sight communication means uh, there must be no obstacle between these two devices which are communicating with uh, each other. They must be uh, on the line of sight 
face to face to each other and there must be there must be no obstacle in between these two devices which are communicating with each other they offer very high speed communication uh, between the devices so the very good example of microwave uh, communication is you might have seen the towers of installations over there so uh, microwave towers you might have seen this kind of towers in cities high rise towers are there so and they are placed at a distance of 10 kilometers 20 kilometers and so and so and some transponders are there this kind of things are there so using these signals they can they can <coughs> what transmit data from one place to another place and here uh, micro waves are basically used micro wave signals are used for communicating uh, between these two towers similarly another tower may be there and another tower is there and they can communicate with each other using microwave signals and that is reason why they are put at very uh, good height basically so that there is no obstacle in between these and they are known as uh, line of site communication line of site communication so here you see uh, and this uh, example, uh, the range or the signal range uh, from this the twisted pair. So there are wide media basically. So the range of the twisted pair of bandwidth is from 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 8. Here you can see this is the range for the coaxial cable. Here you see these signals are used for maritime uh, communication using the radio waves. You might have heard the name of uh, AM, PM, amplitude modulation, frequency modulation. So those who listen radios basically they, and they know what is the FM radio. So these signals whose frequency lies within this range are used uh, in the FM radio while the signals in this range are used for uh, transmitting the data in the FM or in the AM radio. These are the signals if the signals frequency lies between these so they are used for TV communication. So communicate. And so the TV sets are communicating with TV broadcasting, I mean to say, uh, is taking place in this range. Similarly, terrestrial microwave, I am talking about this terrestrial microwave communication. So they, that the signal lies between these uh, range, while for satellite communication, we do have the range, this one. The microwave signals are there, but their uh, range is much higher. Here you can see uh, the this is the range for the fiber optics. So the fiber optics are operating at uh, this range. In the right hand side you can see when the signals frequency goes beyond this thing they are used for diagnostic purposes. They are not mean for they are not mean for data communication basically but these signals whose frequency lies in this thing they can be used for other purposes so for the x-ray gamma rays you might have heard all these names they can be used for various kinds of diagnostic purposes in the chart i have shown you uh, that uh, what is the mean of elf extremely low frequency super low frequency ultra low frequency medium frequency high frequency so and what is the range of that as well as the wavelength is written uh, in the column so you can see here the whenever the signal is within this range basically they can be they can be used for what they can be used for uh, transmitting data from one place to another place or in other words you can say that it can be used for connecting various kinds of devices in the wireless media so uh, now uh, we will have some in-depth look at wi-fi technology so a wireless networking technology that allow devices to connect to the internet and communicate wirelessly over local area so they are known as wireless LAN or Wi-Fi LAN you can call so how does Wi-Fi work it uses radio waves to transmit data uh, between a router and Wi-Fi enabled devices it operates in two main frequency bands 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and access points extend the coverage if you want to go beyond one place so you will have to put some access point one access point is there and using these access points various devices are connected another access point is there and these access points can communicate with each other and around these various devices may be there so the expansion of the expansion of the wi-fi LAN can be extended using access points here there may be several devices which are connected in the wireless manner uh, security measures 
as uh, all you know that whenever data is being transmitted from one place to another place, uh, they are vul very vulnerable while the data is being transmitted from one place to the wireless media. Any hacker in between, any hacker can hack the data, can interrupt or can intrude into the data and can, he can make several kind of changes in the uh, data. So how to make our data which is in transit more secure. So for that we do you use basically encryption standards to protect data from unauthorized access. Further a strong password and regular firmware updates are essential to ensure secure communication between devices in case of wireless network. The advantage is that it offers you a great mobility. What happens basically in case of wired network the mobility is very low. Mobility, if you want to remove a computer from one place and you want to put it in another place and because it is wired basically. So they are the wired basically. So it will be very difficult to move this computer from here to another place I mean to say. The whole wiring needs to be redone in that case. So mobility in the wired network is very low while in case of uh, wireless network no issue. These devices are there you can move either this place to this place, this place to this place. So they can move freely. Uh, so they offer in that sense they offer a greater or higher mobility. Flexibility is also there, they can easily be uh, set up and easy installation is there. It is very easy to install wireless network. <coughs> Next is broadband uh, connections. Uh, so what is broadband connections? These high speed internet connections that are always on and faster than traditional dial up uh, connection. If you remember in earlier days we do use landlines basically, landline phone lines. I am talking about the telephone lines that uh, uh, were using the landlines. So only uh, it was possible to exchange the voices, we can only talk. But nowadays uh, in the network basically we are not only exchanging voice but we are trying to exchange messages, text messages, video messages, songs. Uh, I mean to a lot of things you want to do some sometime you are uh, interested in playing some games visual games over there. So these uh, uh, channels allow you multiple channels voice is there, text is there and video is there, images are there you know? So several channels are there I mean to say and they are being communicated from one place to another place simultaneously. So. Uh, uh, what are the various types? Uh, one is known as DSL. DSL means digital subscriber, subscriber line. So it uses telephone lines. It is slower than fiber but more accessible. So first DSL line is are there. So they use the telephone lines basically to offer this kind of services. Another services are being offered with the help of fiber optic broadband services. It uses light signals through glass fiber, offers the fastest speed and uh, it allows multimodal information to transmit from one place to another place. So either maybe voice, text, videos, images you know? so they can transmit uh, simultaneously from one place to another place. Another, another example of broadband transmission is cable broadband. It uses the coaxial cables so instead of uh, fiber, uh, fiber cables, uh, fiber optic cable uh, we do have another type of cable which is known as coaxial cable. So they use coaxial cables. Uh, for transmitting the data from one place to another place and that is basically used in urban uh, areas. How broadband works basically? It transmits data over multiple channels allowing simultaneous internet and voice uh, services. So I have already explained over here that the multiple uh, channels are there and they allow simultaneous communication of voice, text, another kind of uh, multimedia data from one place to another place. It offers high speed data transfer. They are reliable in nature and supports multiple user and devices simultaneously. So in that sense basically broadband connections are uh, vital uh, in the sense that they offer many kind of services or multiple kind of uh, services uh, at one time.